Everyone loves a good rotisserie chicken, but before you head to the store to buy your next tasty meal, there are some things you should know that vendors would rather keep a secret. Rotisserie chicken often seems like an awesome deal. You get a whole roasted, delicious bird cooked and ready to go on the table as soon as you get home for just a few dollars. What's more, even while NPR found poultry prices in general increased by more than 15% in 2022, the prices for rotisserie chicken stayed more or less the same. However, these cheap prices come with a cost. Turns out, stores use cheap rotisserie chickens as a ploy to make you spend more money Rotisserie chickens are well known as a loss leader for many stores. The company takes a loss on the product because it knows the chicken will get you in the store, where you'll very likely spend more money. For example, a Costco executive in 2015 noted that they'd be willing to lose 30 to 40 million dollars per year just to keep rotisserie chicken prices low. The chickens generated enough extra profits to cover it. If you do this for me right now, I'm gonna... I. I will buy you a Costco rotisserie chicken. Uh, sold. When you walk into a store that sells rotisserie chicken, you can likely expect to find piping hot chickens available any time of day. However, what happens to the few leftover chickens in the warming case after the store closes up shop? In some instances, those perfectly fine chickens that were properly stored and refrigerated are tossed in the trash. In 2022, a store employee at an undisclosed location posted a video on TikTok showing a row of several unsold chickens that they were forced to throw away at the end of their shift. In the comments, the poster noted that they tried to save the wasted chickens by refrigerating them overnight and putting them back out in the morning, but the chickens were thrown away in the morning by other employees. They also mentioned that trying to take the leftover chickens home would result in termination. It's not just chicken that gets wasted when stores fail to sell all the rotisserie chicken stock. Sometimes, both the sold and unsold chickens generate plenty of waste because of the way they're packaged. The average rotisserie chicken comes in a standard black plastic bottom tray and a clear plastic covering, and dealing with plastic waste resulting from rotisserie chickens is not that easy. In some cases, some recycling centers advise not even trying to recycle the packaging, as the mixed plastic composition is difficult to sort and sell. Luckily, some stores are making an effort to reduce rotisserie chicken plastic waste. In 2019, Whole Foods, for example, announced it would use bags to package its chickens rather than plastic containers, which it estimated would reduce plastic waste by 70% and 800,000 pounds. Wegmans, likewise, uses pouches that contain 75% less plastic than traditional rotisserie chicken packaging. If you're a fan of all things Costco, you'll likely remember the big hoopla that arose in 2022 and again in early 2023, when Costco shoppers began reporting a big problem with their rotisserie chickens. Many complained that recently purchased rotisserie chickens came with a side of chemical flavor. Some Reddit users compared the flavor to chlorine, while other users noted a soapy taste. However, if you think that this incident can just be chalked up to Costco's rotisserie chicken quality and taste, think again. As one Reddit commenter explained, sometimes rotisserie chicken quality and flavor can be traced back to the supplier, meaning you could find that on some days you could prefer the rotisserie chicken at Costco, other days the rotisserie chicken at Walmart, other days the rotisserie chicken at Sam's Club, and it would all depend on the supplier that the chicken came from on that particular day. Could your favorite store's rotisserie chicken have a previous life as another product before you picked it up out of the warming case? Or if you bypass a rotisserie chicken one day, could that unsold chicken go on to be recycled into another product? According to one PBS report and some Reddit users, that might be just the reality. We'll team up, it'll be smart. good. smart. Reduce, reuse, recycle. The kids will love it. it. Apparently, some stores source rotisserie chickens not from a particular vendor, but from just across the store, in the store's raw poultry aisle. If the store has some whole chickens that are in danger of passing the sell-by date, the employees will take that chicken and turn it into a rotisserie chicken. If the chicken doesn't sell, then it may get an additional new life elsewhere in the grocery store, like in the deli department, where leftover rotisserie chickens are used in products such as chicken salad. 
it turns out that the ingredients list for a rotisserie chicken can be quite long. For example, a Sam's Club member's mark seasoned rotisserie chicken contains about 20 ingredients, including one that it shares with Costco's rotisserie chicken and that you should be wary of – sodium phosphate. Sodium phosphate is a food additive commonly found in deli meats and fast food, among other items, where it helps to cure meat, leaven, emulsify, thicken, and perform other functions. However, it also has some slightly unsavory uses, and you shouldn't consume large amounts of sodium phosphate if you have certain diseases or illnesses, such as kidney disease or colitis. Furthermore, rotisserie chickens are injected with a sodium solution that contains far more sodium than you might think, such as 550 milligrams of sodium in Sam's Club's chicken. This can all be difficult to keep track of when you consider that the Food and Drug Administration doesn't require grocery stores to offer for nutrition facts and ingredient lists on rotisserie chicken packaging. Beyond the added ingredients like injected sodium solutions and sodium phosphate, rotisserie chicken may, in general, not be as healthy as it seems. After all, it's easy to think that a rotisserie chicken is a healthy addition to any meal. It's not fried, and it's not red meat. Unfortunately, your rotisserie chicken's sodium and saturated fat content can add up. The average rotisserie chicken thigh in a one-cup serving contains 452 milligrams of sodium and 5 grams of saturated fat. If you follow a 2,000-calorie-per-day diet, that single serving of chicken accounts for about 20% of your recommended daily sodium intake and nearly half your recommended daily saturated fat. If you remove the chicken's skin before chowing down, you'll save yourself one gram of fat and no sodium. So that sacrifice, unfortunately, really isn't worth it. The best thing to do? Don't be tricked by rotisserie chicken's healthful reputation, and eat this deli treat in moderation. If you care about eating humanely processed meats and animal byproducts, you may want to steer clear of certain rotisserie chickens. In 2022, shareholders filed a lawsuit against Costco, stating that the brand's chicken processing plant engaged in neglectful and cruel practices. This included breeding chickens extra large for consumption, harming the chickens in the process, and causing them to die prematurely from a range of complications. Furthermore, the lawsuit noted that Costco's practices violated states' animal welfare laws, which could put the company in hot water. This most recent law suit wasn't even the first time that Costco came under fire for its animal mistreatment. The year before, the New York Times detailed some undercover video that was taken in one of Costco's contracted farming facilities, and which showed animal mistreatment that resulted in injured and deformed animals. The organization that produced the undercover video demanded that Costco sign the Better Chicken Commitment, guaranteeing better care standards. As of yet, Costco has not signed the commitment. It is representative of what is happening across um, industrial animal agriculture and, and chicken. It's not just the animals that may suffer at the hands of producers to guarantee a never-ending supply of fresh rotisserie chickens at a cheap price. Both workers at processing plants and farmers who oversee the chickens before processing can suffer too. As one in-depth report from Taste noted, the farmers contracted to raise these chickens must often take on crippling amounts of debt to do so and have little rights within the supply chain. This often puts them at an economic disadvantage. Employees at processing plants often face dangerous working conditions, many caused directly by employer negligence and abuse. As just one example, Oxfam America has produced a report on the denial of bathroom breaks in the poultry industry, endangering employee health and subjecting them to humiliation. While not directly related to rotisserie chickens, more recently, reports have come out regarding the use of illegal child labor in poultry processing plants, resulting in serious injury and, in some cases, death. While you might assume that because a rotisserie chicken is kept in the store's warming case, it's kept at the right temperature to prevent bacteria growth, that's not always the case. 
Before you pick your rotisserie chicken from the case, you should give it a quick feel and make sure that it's truly warm to the touch. You should also make sure that the chicken is fully sitting in the heating case. One local news outlet visited a grocery store to get a look at its rotisserie chickens and found that, while management said they monitored the warming case's temperatures every hour, the thermometers and the warming cases didn't even work. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, cooked meat and poultry must be kept at a temperature either below 40 degrees Fahrenheit or above 140 degrees Fahrenheit to stay out of the danger zone, in which bacteria can begin to rapidly grow in just 20 minutes. Are you feeding a crowd and want to get the most meat from a single bird? You might want to bypass the rotisserie chicken and opt for roasting a raw bird yourself. As a representative from the National Chicken Council told Taste, the chickens that you find in the warming case are typically chickens bred specifically to be rotisserie chickens. That means they're usually smaller on average than your standard raw whole chicken found elsewhere in the grocery store. Similarly, an anonymous source told High's Eye that where they work at a stop and shop, the store's rotisserie chickens are about half the size or smaller than the store's raw chickens in the poultry case. The publication likewise found that at a variety of grocery and membership club stores, rotisserie chickens weighed in at around 30 to 48 ounces, compared to the 80 to 86 ounces that the raw chickens in the same stores boasted.